Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. These are going to be new moon and Taurus predictions for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpios, this new moon in Taurus takes place on May 11th and it is going to be grounding, stable, and powerful. So Taurus reminds us to get back to enjoying our physical world in whatever way is most pleasurable for us. Taurus is ruled by Venus and Venus is in Gemini during this new moon, so she lends a light feel to earthy Taurus, encouraging us to socialize, connect, and enjoy variety. It brings an airy energy to help us move out of our comfort zones and seek new ways to experience pleasure and joy in our material world and in our relationships. This is a great moon to start new financial ventures and it has a very strong trine to Pluto, okay, or a sharp trine to Pluto, where we can revamp our relationships and revamp our value, our relationships to money and our values. Okay. So Scorpios, as I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. Or if you like the cards I'm using, I also have them listed in order of appearance. Feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into this. My Scorpios. Let's see what messages come through for my dearest Scorpios. The wish. Ooh, so there's a wish coming true or careful what you wish for. We get the rats, number 32. All right, and then we get illness, number eight. All right, overall energy, we get infinity, number 36. All right, Scorpio. So let's go ahead and see. I'm going to read from the little booklet. The wish is a wish fulfilled. Most of the time it's good, but the wish could have unforeseen consequences. Um, your, mo your strongest will desire will come true, but it doesn't mean that it will make you happy. Okay, so again, I did get that. I, I, it was very strong, Scorpio. Be careful what you wish for. All right, um, number 32, the rats. Um, this is about loss and theft. Something you hold dear is about to disappear, that there's a thief lurking in the shadows, okay? And then we get illness, number eight. This card uh, represents a great misfortune or possible health problems, okay? Um, it could mean, um, yeah, well, we'll leave it at that. And then we get number 36. We get... Possibilities you never considered are open to you. This card is a sign that your perspective on an issue is too small and you need to widen your scope. All things are possible. Dream big. Okay? In relationships, it indicates that you shouldn't settle with your current partner. So Scorpios, this is what I'm getting. For the majority of you, you guys are trying to manifest somebody coming back into your life. And you, I think there's a lot of love. There's a strong soul contract between you and this person. And that's why you're getting careful what you wish for, but you need to pull back and see the bigger picture because what I'm seeing here, this is a karmic, okay? And and you have a lot more possibilities than you recognize. Calling this person back in, I don't think is going to be a great idea for many of you. Even though it might seem like that's what you want, I don't think this person has changed. Okay, for some of you guys, it might be like a situation, a job, something that may be a living situation. Seven of Cups. You have a lot of options, Scorpio, and I feel like many of you want to go back to the option that you know. Spirit saying there's something better out there for you. Okay, the Knight of Wands. So you're having trouble. Um, I think you're having trouble because you do have a lot of passion for this person. I also feel Scorpio, this person was probably in and out of your life. Okay. Or it was something that didn't provide you stability and they might've been more out of your life than in it. You know, that maybe that the sex was really good. Maybe that they promised a lot. Okay. But again, this person is somebody who, who ghosts you, who breadcrumbs you, who doesn't give you what you truly deserve. And just like this woman on this card, it's left you feeling like, what the hell? Okay. What is it? And it's almost because of their behavior. Okay. And because it's a strong soul contract, Scorpio, what I'm getting here is that 
is that like the way that it was handled, it's like they're, it's like it's an illusion that you want or you need this person when in fact it's really not good for you. And I think at one point you know that and there's a part of you that does know that, but it could be that they get a lot of attention and there's this fear that they're gonna be, end up with somebody else. I think you're dealing with somebody who has real commitment issues, okay? I'm also seeing some of you guys, this, has, this person has a lot of trauma in their past and it's almost like Scorpio, it, it's just there's something better out there for you. That's what I'm getting. No matter how much you might think you want this person, they're not for you. They're not for your highest and greatest good. Okay, so be very careful what you wish for. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this is about being on a karmic cycle. This is just confirming everything that I was saying. Spirit wants you to see your way off of the crazy train. Okay, off of this karmic cycle. This person is no good for you. You know that. And I think that you've let this person treat you poorly. And there's, you would never let anybody treat you this way, Scorpio, but there's something about them, okay? And But it just keeps going round and round. They might be a smooth talker. Um, they might be, you know, it might be that, you know, your, your physical connection is off the charts, okay? But there's this energy of being quite confused and it's time to make the healthy decision no matter how difficult it might be. You're not going to be alone for long, Scorpio. I feel like there are a lot of people that have their eye on you. There are a lot of people that want to offer you love, support, even commitment. But it's not the one that you want. And then we get the Eight of Swords. I love this. Libra got this same energy. So some of you guys might be dealing with a Libra. Um, or maybe there's something in the Libra message for you. But you know what? This is that overthinking. You're going... This, this is something... This person sabotages this relationship because they are dealing with their own past traumas. Okay? But what I'm seeing here, they're never going to come in and offer you the stability. You can definitely call them back in. But Spirit wants you to close out this karmic cycle like ASAP, okay? We get the emperor. This is about setting boundaries, standing firm, doing a little bit of a review. How has this person treated you, Scorpio? Because for many of you guys, this knight of wands, they haven't treated you well at all. They've made you feel like an option. They might have even dealt, dented your self-esteem, making you feel like you're not good enough. I think they were you were forced to feel like you're the one who do all the does all the work here. And this emperor is like, all right, no way. No way. And it's about it's again careful what you wish for, but it's also about ego energy. Because again, some of you guys I feel like this person maybe pitted you against somebody else, trying to make you feel jealous or make you feel like they had a lot of different options, which again, when you know, that makes it that much harder to leave someone behind. Right? It's like when somebody, when you're like, you don't want to lose out to a romantic rival, pull back, see the bigger picture, Scorpio. You do not need this energy. Okay? I'm just going to be straight up with you. It is time to draw a line in the sand. It's not going to be easy because this person doesn't want to let you go either. Okay? This person likes this energy. This person likes the attention. This person likes that you're fighting over this person. Okay? They like that you. You know what I mean? Like this is how they operate because this is somebody who's very deeply wounded. Spirit's asking you to take a look at everything that's going on. Like I said, doing that karmic review. This person, Scorpio, sees you as their crutch. They see you as offering stability because you're always there for them. Okay, they come in when they, you know, when things don't work out for them or they need attention and you're always there because Scorpios were loyal to a fault, right? It's time for you to sort of see what's going on here. And many of you guys, you already have, but it's your, it's like your love for this person that keeps you, keeps you on this sort of karmic cycle. Two of pentacles, yep, back and forth. It may be between you and somebody else. Okay, but it does, it's like they're never really committing. One foot in, one foot out. You have to make a decision here. You're not going to choose wrong, okay? Like you're, you know, like, well, okay. <laughs> they want me to, they want me to recant there. They want you to choose you, Scorpio. What's best for you? It's going to be a hard decision, okay? But they want this to end. This karmic cycle between you guys needs to end, Knight of Wands, High Priestess. Some of you guys, you might be dealing with a Virgo or you might be dealing with a Pisces. 
Um, this is a very strong intuitive connection. Okay, this is a telepathic connection. This is definitely a past life soulmate. And we get the hermit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. We get the hermit and the high priestess Virgo energy coming through really strong. You could have Virgo in your chart or maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. But this is also what has been hidden from you, Scorpio. And Scorpios, you know, we're the detectives of the Zodiac. This person, they thought they were either hiding another connection or hiding their true intentions from you. I think you've figured them out, okay? Because the Hermit is shining a light on the mystery. And I, I, and I think that makes it... I think your your intuition here is being confirmed, Scorpio, that this is a karmic, this isn't a soulmate, this isn't your twin flame. If you thought this person was juggling you and somebody else, the answer is yes. Okay, it, it's a big yes from the universe. This person comes to you for attention, okay, um, because they know how loving and nurturing and loyal you are. You absolutely can and will manifest this person back into your life. They will be coming back into your life when you cut them off, Scorpio without a doubt, okay? Because the connection between you guys is very, very strong. King of Wands energy. You're being asked to tap into your power, find your own strength. You're ready for something new. Some of you guys, you might work with this person. The Sun card, it's gonna be bittersweet because for many of you guys out there, you believe this is your soulmate or you believe this is your twin flame, okay? There's karma between you guys. And, you know, there is a possibility for some of you that it is. But this karmic cycle needs to come to an end. And it's going to take you making a very difficult decision. Standing in your power like the King of Wands. It's going to be a bittersweet decision. Because I don't think it's a sustainable energy here. Five of Pentacles. This is about coming out of conflict. This is about feeling rejected, left out in the cold. But I think there are other opportunities for you, Scorpio, and you're just not seeing it. It's like this person has given you tunnel vision or you have tunnel vision for this person thinking that they're the only one out there for you. The chariot, yeah. This person is emotionally manipulative. You may be dealing with a water sign here or another water sign. Um, but what I'm seeing is you're going to be able to move past this. Some of you guys, there's a lot of jealousy here. Okay, this person does things intentionally to make you feel jealous when they want you to sort of come back. But I feel like this person enjoys this. Okay, Scorpio? This is you coming off of, coming out of a karmic cycle, healing. Many of you guys, you know there's a third party. You know there's a romantic rival. It's like all of a sudden not caring. It's like having this aha moment. Oh my gosh, this is BS. I don't have to deal with it. This is you walking away. This is about everything becoming so much better. Five of Swords, because you're done. You're done. You're like, what am I fighting for? I'm fighting for a Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody who might be like, you know, great in bed. Somebody who, you know, who might be really great with words, but I'm ready for my Emperor. You're giving up on fighting for this person because they don't fight for you. And look at that. We do have the King of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands showing up here as well. Your true divine counterpart is waiting for you. But you need to heal. You need to walk away from this situation. This has been keeping you stuck, Scorpio. Okay, it's been keeping you stuck. Chariot card, Cancerian energy. Okay, you are going to be... I don't feel like my Scorpios, you guys are going to be alone for long because I actually think you have a lot of options. I feel like this person that you're dealing with also kind of knows that. They kind of, that's why they kind of play these mind games. Okay, that's why they're mind effing you because they know that when you decide to walk away, that it's not, it's not going to take much for you to, you know, find the right person. And so they kind of have this, you know, you're dealing with somebody with some pretty big ego who's actually been in control or you've handed power over to for already too long, Scorpio. I know I'm being quite direct. Spirit is just coming through with messages for all of these signs in a big way, being very direct, being very blunt. Yeah. Scorpio, you are overgiving in this situation. I think many of you felt like this was your divine masculine or was your divine feminine. Um... It's a strong soul contract without a doubt, but for many of you guys, it absolutely is a karmic, okay? So we get serendipity. You need to follow the signs and the synchronicities. I feel like many of you guys, if you can sort of like 
get into this energy of radically accepting, detaching from the situation, you're going to see that the signs have been cautioning you. You know, Scorpio, you guys are no dummies. You guys are very, very, very empathic, very intuitive. You know what's going on. But it was like your deep love for this person and this belief that you're meant to be together or that this is your twin flame or your divine counterpart that was keeping you from taking the action that you truly needed to take. Loyal heart, 35, this is what you're calling in because look, this is falling right in. You move away from this distorted masculine energy is what I'm picking up on. This feeling of jealousy, because I feel like many of you, this person used jealousy. They pitted you against somebody in particular or made you feel like an option, which made you feel like you had to overextend and prove yourself even more. And that was, you know, and that's like they, they lowered your vibration, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting. But you're going to move past this in doing so. Boom. What are you manifesting? A loyal heart. Somebody that's so different than what you've been dealing with. And this is a deep knowing you know, it, my guides are kind of being like a little bit funny here. They're like, you know this. Scorpio, you already know all of this because this is your deep knowing. Many of you guys have already come into the understanding that the person you're dealing with is not your divine counterpart, that they're a false twin, okay? Or, at, or even doesn't even matter how you classify them. They aren't for you. But you heal and clear this. You walk away. Your life changes, you're calling in somebody so much better. You're ready for it. If you believe it or not, Scor uh, Scorpio, you are absolutely ready for it. Boom. This person has stolen enough time, enough of your energy. Some of you guys, you know, again, I do remember like energy. This is somebody who may be like an energy vampire. Again, somebody who comes in for their own pleasure, their own satisfaction. We get worthiness, you believing your worth. This this connection has done a number on your self-worth, Scorpio, making you feel like you have to fight for them or that somehow you're not good enough for them. But this is about you doing the shadow work, taking a good hard look in the mirror and realizing it that this person is the one that's damaged. Okay, that's why they're projecting this energy onto you and we get intimacy. This is what's coming your way. I feel like this person never truly gave you true intimacy, okay? They were confusing sex for intimacy or were trying to, you know, use sex as a form of intimacy because, again, I feel that this person is very damaged that you're dealing with, okay? I know these are really, like, these are much harsher message than I'm used to sort of delivering, but that's the way, oh, that's the way it goes. That just scared me, okay? Let's go ahead and see. I don't know why that just made me jump. <laughs> this person, again... When you, when you cut the cord, Scorpio, when you walk away in a new direction, you may either meet somebody else. They're not, this is somebody who's going to react negatively. They're going to pull out all of the stops because you are their go-to, Scorpio. We get self-love. Yep. Look at that. It's about self-love. We get a lot of sevens coming out. So spirit, is, spirit, your angels, your guides are definitely giving you the signs and synchronicities that it's time to move. Chariot energy. It's time to leave this behind. Okay. And again, many of you, this person, I think deep down, they don't feel like they're good enough for you. So they might be chipping away at you, Scorpio. Okay. But they're lowering your vibration. Karmic completion. Boom. Thank you, spirit. It's done. It's time for this to be done. Self-discipline. But it's going to be hard because they're going to pull out all the stops. There's, they, they, they offer a lot of temptation. For some of you guys, you recognize the red flags. Okay, this person might have talked about having children with you. They might have talked about the future, everything that you guys would have. Okay, but I do feel like you ultimately, deep down, you had this inner knowing something is off. Okay. And then we get relationship change, yeah, because you're moving on to something bigger and better. 56 breaks down to an 11. Scorpio, you're calling in love. That's what's happening. You're, you're loving yourself. You're getting rid of this karmic contract. You're completing this karmic cycle. We get confirmation all over the place. It's time to make some big changes, okay? You are going to be so happy you did. Choose you, Scorpio. Choose you. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.